Welcome to the third session. What we have so far done is we have used only two colors. Now that can become boring sometimes even though it is insightful. So, let us see if we have any other option of making it using more colors. So, let us go back to our electricity example once again. We are looking at source of lighting and we have looked at electricity over here. So far we have been putting some range uh, some particular cutoff here and saying execute query. There is something interesting called range query here and it asks you whether you want 3 colors, 4 colors, 5 colors or whatever. I usually stick to 3. It gives me a palette red, yellow and green and this is a default setting which the uh, software itself does. Let us see how does the default setting look like. So, we are looking at electricity being available to less than 34 percent or less than 35 percent households, less than 67 percent households and more than 67 percent households. So, the more uh, percentage households having electricity the better, the less the worse. So, red, yellow and green this is just like a traffic signal red, yellow and green. So, there is no other connotation to this. So, we say execute range query. So, it shows you neat clusters one over here where less electricity is available, one over here where more electricity is available and of course, you have this intermediate range. Now, instead of depending on the computer or the default setting based on our two color data, we could also bring it to let us say 60 percent. Let us say if it is less than 60 percent, we do not find it to be good or this is our judgment and if it is 85 percent or more, then it is better and then we ask it to execute the range query again. Right. Now, you see this area, this is familiar, the kerosene using area, you find this area where electricity supplies in fairly large amount of households you get another cluster intermediate cluster over here. What do you interestingly notice is that Himachal or Uttarakhand which are hilly areas with difficult topography are able to reach electricity to its citizen whereas, this plain areas of UP and Bihar and even some parts of West Bengal etcetera are not able to reach electricity to its citizen. So, you will have to ask yourself are we looking at a technology issue or are we looking at a governance issue, but we will not belabor that point very much. I just wanted to forewarn you about something. So, let us go to kerosene. We are looking at households which are using kerosene. This time we will not take uh, total, we will just take rural households because as you know rural households use more uh, kerosene and we again go to range query. We say yes, three colors are fine. Now, it does some setting on its own. We say execute range query. Have you noticed something that places where more and more households use kerosene is shown as green and where less and less kerosene is used, it is shown as red. Now, that is not what we want. So, how do we handle that? So, we go here, click on the palette, change it to let us say sorry we change it to this green. Now, I do not like this green. So, okay, let me go down a little more. So, I say yes, this is ok. I ok it. Yellow it does not make a difference to it. So, I go to red and ok, this is all right. So, I go here again look at it and say ki nini isko thoda we need to change it. So, we can uh, or take your pick and I say ok, this this looks better. So, I give it this color and then I ask it to execute the range query. Now, you look at your good old kerosene area, you look at your area where less kerosene is used. 
you can change these settings as well. I just try a setting of say 25 percent, we will say no, only if it is less than 25 I give it green and I say ok if it is why go to second decimal point, I just say two third of the population. So, I make it 66 and I ask it to execute the query again. I have given this example because many assignment where people submit it, they show that more use of cow dung cake as a fuel for cooking is considered to be better by they color it green. So, you should always be careful, do not use the default setting of the machine because machine is extremely efficient, but it is dumb as well. Thinking is something which you need to do. So, therefore, learn how to change the color palette. Now, we have been so far dealing with the states. Let us go to individual state. Now, I am going to Odisha because that is where I worked for a long time. I am familiar with the terrain. The interesting part which I want you to see here is that now you get the state you get the district and you also get the sub district. Now, one word of caution in Orissa the sub district traditionally has been the thanas, in some states it can be tahsil, in some states it can be block, that is something where you do not have a control because this has been traditionally the census style. But then if you have a map of blocks, a similar map can be created, I will go to that separately. So, we go to sub district, we will quickly look at the query part of it, I will quickly look at again female literacy, I just want to show you how the clustering happens. So, if you look at literacy rate and I ask what is let us say rural female literacy, you see the range. So, it starts from very low less than 15 percent. So, I ask which are these areas where less than 20 percent females are literate. You get very small dot here, so you feel happy, then you become little more ambitious and say 35 percent, then you suddenly see a larger area. Now, you see how this is forming a cluster, you go to 40 percent, the cluster becomes bigger, right. You go to 45 percent, now you start seeing a belt forming here as well. So, you have this contiguous belt and since I know the story to some extent, let me go to 52 percent and show you right. And if I go to something like 56 percent. this belt expands. Now, this is one belt, this is another belt. What is so particular about this belt? Let me explore this and go to where are the tribals in Orissa. Okay. So, I am looking at percentage scheduled tribe population, I again go to rural and I asked computer G, where are the places where you have say 40 percent tribals, more than 40 percent. And you see a similar pattern, if I make it 35 percent, you do not get exactly corresponding map. In fact, this particular belt has escaped the low literacy trap, but this belt and this belt are the ones where the tribals and the illiteracy among women happens to be coterminous. I will draw your attention to one more interesting parameter, it is worth looking at housing. Then we go to households, if you recollect these were the parameters radio, television, computer, landline, bicycle, two wheeler etcetera and you had households which had no assets. Let me ask the computer, are there sub districts in Orissa where more than let us say one third of the population does not have these assets, right. You get this belt. Here you find that the tribals in this 
upper region are not having that incidence of poverty because assetlessness is also indicator of poverty, but this belt is fairly common. So, what does this belt show in common? Higher concentration of tribal population, higher concentration of assetless households and higher concentration of female literacy. So, this is one thing which you need to see. I will also take you to the interesting part in Orissa. We go back to literacy, we go back to demographic parameters, we go back to literacy rate and we had seen rural female literacy rate when I had made it less than 52 percent, you got a particular cluster. Right? I execute the query and it shows me the cluster. Now, if I look at the male literacy, what is happening to rural men? 52 kar diya. Now, let us look at rural men. What is happening to rural men? Let me again put that 52 percent. will hardly find any area, but if I raise it let us say to 66 percent, my original cluster starts coming back. So, if I go a little more, if I go to 72 percent, I start getting this cluster back, I start getting this cluster back, let me go to 77. I am deliberately avoiding zeros and fives just to show you that there is nothing sacred about zero and five. You can go to any cutoff. Idea is to locate the clusters and then you see this one cluster here, you see one cluster here, which means that the relative inequality remains the same, but the bar has gone up as far as rural men are concerned we require 77 percent as a cutoff for the same cluster to emerge, which cluster can be very easily obtained when the female literacy rate is less than, you have guessed it right, 52 percent, but just less reinforce that. Though here you will notice that as far as this belt is concerned, the maps do not exactly coincide, but then you will have to monkey around with the cutoffs just to see if you get a similar cutoff. You can do this exercise for any other state and I think that is something which will give you uh, useful insights into how do we go about uh, using this particular data. So, we have looked at so far to recapitulate, we have looked at India with district as a unit and state as a unit. We have looked at the relative performance of what has happened be between urban areas and rural areas between male population and the female population, between the tribals and the non-tribals. Then we have gone to state level, we have again seen similar clustering, but those clusters happen at the sub district level that is number one. We have also learnt how to export that data, so that it can be taken to a spreadsheet and then various analysis can be done. We have also seen that instead of sticking to two colors, we go to a uh, range query and we also get a color coded map. So, let us again try here what does the computer do. Let us see what does the computer do. Rural female literacy, it has made a division by itself 41, 66 and 66 plus. Let us see how does it look like. So, it has given you one cluster here which is coastal Orissa, it has given you one cluster over here which is southern Orissa and it is the rest of the area. So, you see neat clusters, but let me just do some mischief and make it 52 and see what happens. So, you practically get three different Orissas if you look at rural female literacy. So, I think so far so good. 
this site is not interactive in the sense you cannot add your own data, but I think before getting into that ambition of adding one's own data, it is useful that you look at the available data, do this analysis, see the seeds of inequality, see the persistence of inequality and then go further. It is possible to go down to district level, where you can get even a village as a unit, that is the exercise which we will be doing next. Uh, session, but before that I want you to take two trends India. I want you to take a look at the specifically made package called energy analysis. So, all those who are looking at energy in terms of electricity, kerosene, solar energy, etcetera, etcetera as source of lighting and source of uh, cooking, I think they will find it useful. It gives you India with districts. It can also give you state with district and state with sub district. So, let us take for example, India with district and use of let us say firewood as source of cooking. Very interestingly, it gives you 2001 census, it gives you 2011 census and you can separately tweak these. So, if I want to for example, here I am not happy with this very high green part. So, I will just say ok, I change it and I say ok and here instead of 32 percent, I make it let us say 35 percent and this green part this cut off. I take it to 75 percent. This map changes separately and here also this map can be changed separately. So, I just say change, I go to these three ranges, I make a arbitrary cut off here of or let me make the same cut offs 75 and let me make it here. 35, I execute, I get a separate map here. Now, you can play around with it, you can play with these ranges. Now, this is something which is available only for energy access. I had tried to persuade the people who have made this site to give this same thing for various other parameters, but that is still. Uh, under negotiation. So, let us hope that becomes available. We will close this session here and next go to district and then see what kind of additional insight or information we get. So, if you want energy access related data and yes, let me also point out another interesting data in the trends of India. This is called the national family health survey data those who are interested in health and uh, nutrition, they can do this. Here the data is only available up to district level unfortunately, because NFHS does not give you data below the district level. So, I will close this session, next we will go to the district level data.